So here is a video of a guy that bought a whole chicken from the grocery store. He won't disclose what grocery store it is, right? And it had cancer in it, right? And he's recommending that you buy your chicken whole. That way they can't just cut it out like this. Now here is another video of a butcher just cutting cancer out of some meat. Mm. And here's a video of some wild caught salmon full of parasites. And yes, that is wild caught salmon. You can tell because of the color. Real wild caught salmon is actually great, but you know, they, it gets red from eating all of the, you know, the shrimp and all of the stuff from the bottom of the sea. But then the farm raised salmon, they add better quarantine to make it, you know, red. But this is actually real wild caught salmon full of parasites. No, this is from Whole Foods. No, no, mm -hmm. no, 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 no. Oh, is it the one that all. Oh. Oh, dude, yo, that one? I guess there's enough violations going out. We keep shining it. I think I there's uh there's one right here too. So you, you see him? There's him. There's him. Oh look, there's that one. There's there's one right. It's it's in there. It's in there. Let me know what you're gonna do. Throw the whole salmon in the trash now. Now that's form raised salmon with better protein than you can tell. I found that many. And there's way more on that too. It's like it's all up in there. video of some pork chops oh some of y'all go ahead this on your plate oh stop eating this oh i'm oh i can't even mm. getting in no motherfucking trouble ever if i want to if i go broke again i go back to selling dope or doing whatever because i know at least three unsolved murders from the early 90s that i can tell to get out of jail for you uh, charleston works here Snitch on that stupid man. What's up? Boy, snitching in the court. Snitch on that stupid Only on Trench World. That's Charleston White. Look. See how he turned all the way around? Well, Charleston White telling. Look. See? Charleston White telling in the courtroom. Only in trench Look at what they are feeding us. I have never had this happen to my red onion. What is going on? Okay, I just want to warn you before you watch any further, if you want to continue taking the blue pill or the red, what's the, what's the happy pill? Just... I wish I could go back a month before I discovered TikTok. Oh, look at this. Cue the remote control turkey, right? Totally. Oh my gosh. Please. There's probably someone in the bushes is operating that thing. Look at that. Look at that. I know what's going on. We know what's up. Running from us because they know. Anyway, I'm at this uh, thing called a par course. Yeah. I've ever been to suburbia, they make things like this. It's this track, right? It goes in a circle, and then there's like little spots to exercise on it. Things get crazy out here. And here's the thing though. This is the problem. You see back there? Can you see them? You see them right there? Are they too small? Yeah. You know what that is? Oh, cue the mom with the baby in the stroller. You can say it. You know what it is. Every day, same time. Right? Oh, here they go. They're about to walk across the bridge. I've been coming here every day for a whole week. It's exactly the same thing. Same exact. You know what it is? How are you? I say this, the 911 cannot help you. Hmm. Okay? 911 cannot help you. You have to do something else to save your life. You have some physiological Lord, challenges. First line 
you get it on your phone. All right? Second of all, you're not going to have the time to make that call. You got to do something else to save you. are native to my country. Yeah. The African Savannah. Okay. So here this guy go. He was following them women that's down now. He was following them. I noticed it. And I pulled up on the side of them and I and I said, I don't know if y'all noticed, but that guy back there following you, and they all shook their head and said yes. They they even said yes. And so what I did was turn around over there in the, in the truck, over there, turned around, did a U-turn, came back to the corner that he was at down there, and I had to let him know, you will get your ass whooped. You will get your ass whooped for following women. Because I don't know about nobody else, but as men we have lost our sense of handling responsibilities this isn't a job it's a responsibility to protect women children and community to be providers leaders and protectors so to any man that watch this make sure you're being mindful of protecting your community just like that Let's talk about giants. Are giants real? What is a giant? In folklore, giants are beings of humanoid appearance, but are massive in size and strength. There is a TikToker who actually went missing and was then pronounced unalived after exposing truth of a giant to the world on TikTok. His name was Andrew Dawson. He posted a video. This is a clip from the video itself. And the video shows of something standing up on a high military base. Something really big. And note, he's far away. So look how big, big it is on the lens. You're not supposed to see anybody from the distance he was. Anyways, he exposed it. And after this, there's literal legal documents showing that he got unalived after. That he's legally gone. What do you guys think about all of this? Let me know in the comment section. To worry about the fucking store owner following you around? Motherfucking robots is following me around now. Fucking ridiculous. This is fucking ridiculous. See him? I'm in the aisle doing my thing, and this motherfucking robot is following me the fuck around. Like, fucking robots harassing me. Look. It's fucking ridiculous. Every fucking aisle I go down, this motherfucker's right here. Yo, this shit is really like really on some real bullshit. Has anybody ever seen this before? This fuck you see what I'm saying? It's following me. This is crazy. Is it gonna it's following me. Caution has a detective. Caution has a detective. This is ridiculous. And it speaks different languages. This is ridiculous, man. This is profile. The fuck? The fuck? The fuck is in the air? The fuck? There's white shit everywhere. The fuck? I must be fucking baked and this shit's probably fake. The fucking hell did I just take? The fuck? Them, them people, I don't know what the name of the company is. The one that got all you crazy motherfuckers around here thinking y'all from a country y'all ain't even motherfucking from. And you know the shit I'm talking about? You put your information in and they tell you, you know, where your family ties and all this shit, you know, originated and all that old bullshit. Motherfucker, I'm telling me, like, I, you know, you, I knew it. I knew, knew what? I knew I was from Switzerland. They, they said I'm from Switzerland. I had ties and hedges in Switzerland. Switzerland? You want me to motherfucking believe you You had family in motherfucking Switzerland? <laughs> well, y'all motherfucking know y'all.
And why do everybody get taken out whenever they speak on them? Oh, man. Everyone should read the book, uh, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Everyone should know about the meeting that took place off the coast of Jekyll Island in the early 1900s. Everyone should know about the Federal Reserve Act. Everyone should know about Woodrow Wilson. Everyone should know about J.P. Morgan. Everyone should know about the Carnegies, the Rothschilds, the Warburgs. Everyone should know about the Waltons. Everyone should know about the Vanderbilts. Everyone should know about these are the names of, you know, of course, the Rockefellers. Again, very critical uh, about the Rockefellers, John D. Rockefeller and all the rest of them, Carnegie and the rest of them. You must know about these. Why? Because they shaped the modern world that we currently live in from the financial area to the educational system, to the agricultural system, to the very banking itself. They shaped it. So while a lot of us are arguing, we're not realizing the people who quite literally put this thing together are the ones who have perpetuated exactly where we are to this very moment. Then we can say, oh, these people want to get rid of over 4 billion human beings on the planet, including white folks. For you black people out there that want to know why you a god, nigga, you carbon. This is carbon right here. It's carbon. Carbonated bean. That's all you need to know, that this is carbon, and then you go look up what carbon is, and there you motherfucking go right there. Carbon is the basis from which all life is formed. So even if you don't know the full story, we just talking basic science. This basic science. Basic science, okay? Carbon is the basis from which all life, not some life, a little bit of life, all life is formed. So don't be asking me no motherfucking stupid ass questions about why are black people Anunnaki God? Why are black people calling themselves gods? What makes them gods? Okay? That's what make us motherfucking gods because we are everything. You feel me? Literally. Literally. You feel me? Oh, human beings, y'all got all y'all shit from us. You feel me what I'm saying? So don't be asking no questions and shit. That you are really ready for the answers for. Because the science, the arithmetic, the mathematics, the supreme mathematics is not going to change on that. You feel me? Any 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 day of the week, any time of the week, or the man-made week, whatever you want to call it, this what we are. Who I got here with me today? Yeah, Cody. Cody, okay, Cody. How your day going today? Cool, 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 cool. So you know, you know, you know something about signs and stuff like that. You know a little bit, a little bit, ah, uh, a little bit. So you know, so you know why they got class over, over the sky right now? The block of sun, you, uh, you be raising something like that, right? Yup, yup, yup. You know why they doing that? Cause they know, cause they, they, they doing that, cause they know black people are bi biologically connected to that sun right there. So everything right. that sun is composed of, we are composed of too. Right. You feel me? So look. So that, so that sun right there, so so do you know what type of melon you have? That's me my other question. Do you, do you know what type of melon you have? No. Nah. Uh, so what you have, you have you melon and you have no melon. You feel me? So that's why we got this pigmentation right on our skin right now, because we have you melon. So we so this pigmentation on our skin right now, we could absorb the sun and we could convert that energy into something else. Cause all we need is energy and electricity to survive, right? And that sun is our literally our our, our, our energy source right there. It's giving us all the power in the world, it's giving us all that energy and electricity to run and stuff like that. And also that sun is so you know you have no melanin too, and you have different glands. So you have you have uh, you have serotonin, you have GABA, different different glands to get you to your higher self. You have serotonin. Serotonin serotonin helps you with your mood and stuff like that. You feel me? Helps you with your mood. Melatonin helps you go to sleep. You got GABA. GABA is another 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 neurotransmitter too. It helps you it helps you relax. It, it improves your focus. You feel me? So really, when I'm trying to get Give black people, I'm trying to give black people back into the sun, how the sun literally activates so DNA and stuff like that, you feel me? So all the stuff you buy in the stores, you literally can get that shit from the sun right there, you feel me? Um, bro, you feel me? The, the sun also stimulates your pineal gland too. Your pineal gland is, is, is another form of consciousness, you feel me? So you, 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 are, you, are, you are literally learning from the sun, just, just right. absorbing that sun. That shit is unlocking your pineal gland and you are getting more conscious from the, you feel me, from the sun right there, you feel me? Yeah. Um, bro. But yeah, do, would you have any question, more questions to add on to that? Uh, not necessarily, but you just told, told me shit I didn't know, though, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. definitely informed me on some shit I didn't really know about. Yeah, yeah, as black people, we are literally biologically connected to that sun. We are the only species that is connected yeah. to that sun, literally. That's right. why they, they blocking that sun because they, they, they know a certain type of species cannot absorb that sun the way we can, you feel me? Yeah. Um, but that's why we, that's, this is just condensed sunlight. All, all, all this is is just sunlight, bro, you feel me? Yeah. This is just condensed sunlight. The sun is really black for real, bro. Right. Literally, bro. 
So yeah, bro. But yeah, but have a nice day, bro. Thank appreciate you, bro. You, bro. Thank, yeah, you, sure. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Yeah, Thank you, bro. Sure. hundreds of thousands of miles of tunnel systems on the planet. You can go from New York to Brazil, Buenos Aires, and then Antarctica with ever, without ever coming up to the surface for air. And you can do it all at way more than a thousand miles an hour on magnetic levitation trains, otherwise called maglev. I talked to a military veteran who said, Jim, I'm a war veteran, I'm a, uh, I'm a military specialist, I don't want to give away more. And he, he told me a lot of different things, but one thing he told me, he went to, from Virginia to Los Angeles in 45 minutes. Do the math, 3,000 miles an hour, 45 minutes is three quarters of an hour, multiply by four thirds, on 3,000 miles you get 4,000 miles an hour. Easy napkin math. Because guess what? Somebody that I know has, uh, uh, well, I don't technically know, but has a boyfriend. And uh, we think it's Taylor Swift with a football star. She's really changing things up. Yeah, well, Travis Kelsey, I mean, everybody knows Travis Kelsey. He's just kind of the, you know, the goofy, uh, lovable tight end for the Kansas City Chiefs. And he does his own thing. And he just kind of goes about his business. Well, he made a comment. He was like, I tried to give her a friendship bracelet. I was trying to get, you know, get her. then talk about them in greater detail. There are things you need to know. First, the Coconut Grove fly-in. Many of you were there. Then there's the Miami incident. Some of you were there. The CDC zombie apocalypse preparedness release. DHS released a fake zombie preparedness story. Then there's the recent purchases of large quantities of ammunition. About the Coconut Grove fly-in, Z Teams 1, 2, and 3 cleaned down a zombie cell. That got a lot of public attention. Our cover story was that this was an urban assault exercise in preparation for the upcoming UN meeting. For now, our cover story is holding, but one got away. That led to the Miami incident. That should never have happened. About the Miami incident. Some of you were there. Our cover story was bath salts. That was blown when the autopsy results were leaked. There were no basalts present. We're still dealing with a fallout, and we're investigating the leak. The CDC zombie apocalypse preparedness release, it was sent out against our wishes. 
Then they changed their story. This brought even more attention to it than if they'd just left it alone. Next, DHS released a fake zombie preparedness story, also against our wishes, but it's out there, so we're going to use it as our cover story. Next month, DHS is running a 1,000-person training exercise in San Diego. Z-Teams 2, 4, and 5 will be doing a cleanup operation in another part of the city at the same time. This gives us plausible deniability. I shouldn't have to stress how important this is. Make certain none of them get away. So this is kind of crazy. Remember when the CDC put out the zombie apocalypse preparedness form? And remember when Amazon put out you could use their lumber in the case of a zombie apocalypse? I remember everybody kind of taking it as a joke, laughing uh, about it all. But anyway, I don't remember the DHS putting anything out um, or their thousand person exercise, but who knows? Then they talk about the Coconut Grove flyover. Never really heard of that. Uh, let me know in the comments, I guess, if you have. I never really looked into it or haven't looked into it, I guess. Uh, but I do remember the Miami incident. That was a big deal. Uh, but yes, they said it was bath salts. I'd never heard about them releasing anything saying that it wasn't. But I guess, who knows? Um, let's just say if this, you know, they're doing a pretty elaborate job here. It's pretty interesting. Uh, pretty neat regardless. So intriguing nonetheless. We don't want another Miami incident. About the ammo purchases. We've used news and various media outlets to float the idea that unprecedented large ammo purchases are for government agencies to defend against civil unrest in anticipation of economic collapse. Those of you in this room know all too well that this is a much nicer bedtime story than the truth. Reality is much less pleasant. Right now, the cover story is working. See, myself, I thought the ammo purchases were in part because of the election uh, and because of, obviously, COVID. Problem number six, weakening of current cover stories, bath salts. In Florida, bath salts was a go-to drug of choice. The autopsy leak created problems for this story. Other drugs, synthetic marijuana and S21, were floating these in Louisiana, Pennsylvania, and Michigan. Crazy people were floating this idea in Louisiana, New York, and Chicago. Animal attacks were floating a story in Georgia, Arkansas, and Oklahoma. We estimate two years of viability for these cover stories. Finally, problem number seven, public distribution of full disclosure of current operations. Some brainiac has lined up all the recent events and past history like beads on a string. We don't know where he's getting his information, but too much of the actual facts of our operation are woven into the story. It's not coincidence. He's getting his information somewhere. The story is Dr. Eve Zombie Killer. There you go. That's the story. Dr. Eve Zombie Killer. Uh, I haven't really looked into it or anything like that, but I imagine it's pretty cool. So uh, I may look into it after this. But there's you, there you go. It supposedly has a doctor who's a rogue uh, zombie killer. Really cool, really interesting theory or uh, theme, I guess you'd say. Uh, definitely worth a look. It's presented as a fictional novel. Labyrinthofarts.com is an independent website where the book can be found. For those of you who are wondering, we currently have no plans to shut down this website. We need to gather further intelligence, find out what their sources of information are, and plug whatever leaks we find. Right now, John Q. Public does not know what's happening. We'd like to keep it that way. If you have any questions, I'll address them in my office after the meeting. You now have the facts as we understand them. This briefing is adjourned. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good day. Many risks have been taken to bring this information to light, but there are those of us in the community that feel it's worth the risks. <laughs>